I'd like to read the 73rd Psalm. God is indeed good to Israel, to the pure in heart. But as for me, my feet almost slipped, my steps nearly went astray. For I envied the arrogant, I saw the prosperity of the wicked. They have an easy time until they die and their bodies are well fed. They're not in trouble like others. They are not afflicted like most people. Therefore, pride is their necklace, and violence covers them like a garment. Their eyes bulge out from fatness. The imaginations of their hearts run wild. They mock, and they speak maliciously. They arrogantly threaten oppression. They set their mouths against heaven, and their tongues strut across the earth. Therefore, his people turn to them and drink in their overflowing words. The wicked say, how can God know? Does the Most High know everything? Look at them, the wicked. They're always at ease, and they increase their wealth. Did I purify my heart and wash my hands in innocence for nothing? For I am afflicted all day long and punished every morning. If I had decided to say these things aloud, I would have betrayed your people. When I tried to understand all this, it seemed hopeless until I entered God's sanctuary. Then I understood their destiny. Indeed, you put them in slippery places. You make them fall into ruin. How suddenly they become a desolation. They come to an end, swept away by terrors. Like when waking from a dream, Lord, when arising, you will despise their image. When I became embittered and my innermost being was wounded, I was stupid and didn't understand. I was an unthinking animal toward you. Yet I am always with you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel. And afterward, you will take me up in glory. Who do I have in heaven but you? And I desire nothing on earth but you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart, my portion forever. Those far from you will certainly perish. You destroy all who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, God's presence is my good. I have made the Lord God my refuge, so I can tell about all you do. I know it's not exciting to watch somebody read out of their journal, but I would like to read to you um, what I believe was a word that was given to me just of encouragement by the Holy Spirit. When we look at the prosperity of evil people, we may easily become envious. We work hard day by day, striving to balance our need to earn a living with our need to obey God and do what is right. We see those people with their easy life, their luxuries, and often some measure of power, and we become bitter. It just isn't fair. After all, we work hard to live righteously. We, quote, wash our hands in innocence and gain nothing by it. Let us not complain, Christian. Nor envy the wicked their temporary luxury or prosperity. The footnote in my Bible reminds us, quote, the bull that is intended to be killed is the first to be fattened. The wicked are set apart for destruction. Let them have their temporary happiness in this life. We are immortal beings living in mortal bodies. This life is nothing compared to eternity. So live today with eternity in mind and take heart. In the next life, you will have great joy. The wicked will not. Heavenly Father, you've given us great hope in Jesus Christ. We know that by believing in him and obeying his words, we are saved from our wrath, from your wrath, from the eternal destruction that would otherwise be our destiny. In light of that hope, please keep your people from envying the wicked for their seeming prosperity. Please help us to keep our eyes upon Jesus and to live today for the eternity to come. In Jesus' name, amen.
you like this sort of content, then like, subscribe, and click the notification bell, and more uh, Bible study content. Um, I will continue to try to do a one video a week of Bible study. Until next time, God bless you.